Man, I tell you, the amount of crap that comes through this neighborhood all day, every day. See what I, see what I did there? <laughs> Dad joke. Well, hello everybody and happy summer. I hope all your summers are going well. Now, before I get into the meat of this video, I have to do a little bit of repenting. So bear with me. Do you forgive me? We're still friends? Good, we're good. So here we are, I'm back in town. I've been away for about eight, nine, 10, to, I, don't, I don't know, I've been away for a while and now I'm back. So now that I am back in town and back on my lawn, I wanted to do a quick update video, talk about what my yard looked like when I got back in town. If you remember before I left town, I made a heavy 1801 green punch application, which brought my total pounds of nitrogen for the year up to about a little over one pound total for the entire yard. And I also wanted to circle back and talk a little bit more about 1801 green punch and the application rates that we should be using for both warm and cool season turfs now that we're getting into the heat of summer. So my yard, while I was away, it went absolutely gonzo. I mean, it exploded with growth, color, it just, I mean, it's, it's looking really good. Matter of fact, when I got back, the first thing I did, I jumped out of the car, snapped this picture of where the lawn was currently at. In some places, it was well over three inches tall. So we had a lot of good growth. I know while I was away, we had some good thunderstorms, a good decent amount of rain. Matter of fact, my rain gauge over here, my garden bed, it was tipped over because we've had that much rain. It just filled up and knocked over. And speaking of rain, every afternoon that I've been back, about three days now, it has just downpoured, dumped about an inch to two inches of rain. So we're back into a regular rain pattern. The yard's getting a decent amount of water, so I'm not really worried about that, but I am still gonna bust out the sprinklers and water as needed. So now the first order of business when I got back in town was I had to cut it. It just, it was looking bad. It was terrible. I had to give it a cut. So I did that. I didn't record that just because it takes twice as long to bust out the camera and the mower at the same time and record myself mowing this yard. So I didn't record it this time. Not only that, I had to raise the mower up and go over the yard twice. So I raised it up a little bit to about two and a half inches, went over the yard once, then slowly dropped it back down until I got it back down to about that inch and a quarter height that I'm cutting it at right now. So that took twice as long as well. So it was a bit of work to get this thing polished up and back to its uh, glory that you see before you now. So this is the yard after I've cut it. I still have a pretty good even color going throughout it. So things are still looking pretty strong and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Another thing that I wanted to point out were the thin spots that if you'll recall, I was rotating RGS and Humic 12, doing RGS one week, Humic 12 the next to really get these areas to fill in nicely. So they're doing really, really good. I mean, this whole area right here was practically bare dirt and very little grass. So this area here filling in nicely as well as on the other side of this tree. And my pansies are doing really, really good. Gave them a drink of 402 before I left town and I think they're thanking me for it. Also, if you recall from the drought stress video, this entire section up through here was just burnt to a crisp. It was cooked. It was it was thinned out. It was brown, yellow, orange, all those good colors. But now it's it's filled back in. It's bounced back to life. The areas up through here, there's still a couple of little thin spots there and there. But right up through here, those areas have filled in nicely and we're looking good there. I'm also coming up on my next round for the biostimulant package. So the yard's gonna get a nice good drink of goodies from that. And I'm also coming up on another application 
of dethatch. And I'm gonna make a whole video, a chapter and verse video on dethatch, how to use it, as well as answer some of the questions that all of you gave me on one of the posts that I put on the community tab. So thank you so much for everybody that posted a question. I'm gonna try and answer those and work them into the video when that time comes. So again, thank you and keep an eye out for that video. So now let's circle back and touch on the application rates for 1801 Green Punch now that we're getting into the heat of summer. And to do that, I want you to first take a look at this graphic. Now I think this is one of the best visual representations for both warm and cool season grasses and how their growth cycles work throughout the season. You'll notice for warm season grasses, all your top growth and your root growth is gonna happen now, middle of summer, the warm months, that's when they're really driving their roots and you're getting a whole lot of top growth. Whereas on the opposite side of that, cool season grasses, a lot of root and top growth is gonna happen on the shoulders of the season. So in spring and fall. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to share it with all of you. And I think it ties in nicely to the application rates that we recommend for 1801 Green Punch. And like I always say, whenever you're in doubt, print the PDF out. Go to greencountyfert.com slash DIY. If you scroll down that page, you'll see the products listed there. 1801 is in that mix. If you click on that, it's gonna give you a drop down menu and it's gonna give you application instructions for both warm and cool season grasses. And you'll notice on the warm season grass application instructions that our 1801 green punch rates are lower than they are in the middle of the summer. And on the opposite side of that, if you're looking at the application instructions for cool season grasses, you'll notice that the rates are higher in spring and fall versus the summer. We're lowering the amount of nitrogen that we're putting down with 1801 green punch on the cool season turf, and we're upping it with the warmer season turf. So they're opposite of each other. So that's really it. Just wanted to give you an update on the lawn after I got back in town, mowed it down, still holding color really well. Things are looking great. The weeds are getting choked out. That's not really an issue. The Bermuda is just thriving. Things are, things are looking good, so winning. What other questions do you have for me? Drop those in the comments section below. I will do my best to answer those for you. I gotta say it's been really, really fun engaging with all of you, answering your questions in that comment section, so keep them coming. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, share it out, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to get the notifications every time I upload a new video. Keep on keeping on my long hair brothers and sisters from other misters and I will catch you next time. Also, stay cool out there. Drink your water, it's hot, summer. Yeah. <laughs>